Ngozi Fulani is the founder of the charity Sister Space, which helps women from African and Caribbean backgrounds who have faced domestic abuse. Last week Ms Fulani was surprised by her treatment at Buckingham Palace by Queen Elizabeth's former lady-in-waiting Lady Susan Hussey. Lady Susan resigned from the royal household after it was revealed she asked Ms Fulani where she really came from and also what part of Africa the charity founder was from. Ms Fulani posted about the incident on Twitter and said she had mixed feelings about what happened and said 10 minutes after she arrived at Buckingham Palace, Lady Susan approached her. Lady Susan was a close friend to Queen Elizabeth while also serving as her lady-in-waiting and is also the godmother to Prince William. A spokesperson for the Prince of Wales said Lady Susan's commentary was unacceptable and said, racism has no place in our society. Another spokesperson for Buckingham Palace described the exchange between Lady Susan and Ms Fulani as unacceptable and deeply regrettable. The Daily Mail reported over the weekend that Buckingham Palace has invited Ms Fulani to meet with King Charles and Queen Camilla to address what happened and resolve the issue. Since the incident took place, public figures such as Nigel Farage have criticized Ms Fulani, who called her an anti-royal, anti-British Marxist on GB News and also accused the charity founder of planning the incident. On Twitter. Mr Farage also called Ms Fulani a troublemaker activist and said her charity had been funded by BLM, Black Lives Matter. On Monday, Ms Fulani released a statement in which he said her experience about speaking out has been an emotional whirlwind. She said, the last week has been an extremely difficult time for us all at Sister Space. My team family and I have been put under immense pressure and received some horrific abuse via social media. Yet throughout this time I have been heartened by the huge amount of support we have received. I want to thank everyone for that, and it has shown me that love will always triumph over hate. Ms Fulani said last week on Good Morning Britain that she did not experience physical violence but she would describe the interaction as a form of abuse. Describing what happened with Lady Susan, Ms Fulani said, I was stood next to two other women, black women, and she, Susan Hussey, just made a beeline for me and she took my locks and moved it out of the way so that she could see my name badge. That's a no-no. I wouldn't put my hands in someone's hair and culturally it's not appropriate. After being asked how she felt about Lady Susan resigning, Ms Fulani added, I want the focus to remain where it should be, which is on the women and girls who are affected by domestic abuse. Having said that, she's influenced by Buckingham Palace and it's their decision and her decision to make, one that I had no part in, 